Being fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. There's something at the library for everyone. Library kids, library grown-ups, library people. Of course, we've got books. I'm a book pusher. I'm a library card pusher. We've got books. We've got e-books. We've got audio books through Libby and Hoopla. We've got manga. We've got graphic novels. We've got comic books. We've got biographies. We've got sci-fi. We've got thrillers. We've got young adult fiction. We've got juvenile fiction. We've got beautiful picture books. But if you're not a bookworm, which you can be, you're capable of it we've got something for you too wow it, it just yeah, i want to wow. go and hang out with him social media is calling him america's favorite librarian michael treats is working to spread library joy as he calls it to show people the library can be a fun and inspiring place his videos have gone viral getting millions of views hey. and michael joins us now thanks for being hey, with us michael Good morning. Thank you for having me. Boy, you know, it's true. We used to go there and do homework and research, but, you know, kids maybe don't have as much reason to go to the library now. And is, did you start this? Because most people in the younger generation are like, uh, the library. You know what? I started because more so the older people in generation who are who are uh, somewhat anti-library. Young people seem to love the library. Really? They love their mobile alums. They love their their fly guy, their Pete the Cat, Rand Um So I, I was just trying to remind them of how cool it is and get them to tell their library grown-ups, you got to come back with us. That was my whole goal, ah. talking about library joy. Yeah, but it seems libraries are doing so many more things and offering so many more programs than just come and take a book out. Exactly. I mean, a lot of libraries have tooling libraries, bakeware collections, video games, musical instruments, board game, collect board game collections, something to hook every person so they can be empowered to become a bookworm. And that's the goal of libraries is to show people that there is something for everybody. Everybody belongs in the library every single library day. I love this. It, we showed one of your, your videos there. And you did that having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. That's from Arthur, isn't it? I guess. It is from Arthur. Yes, it is. Arthur, Arthur always... Reed is one of my favorite characters of all time. Yes. So what are they, what's the reaction uh, to the people that are liking your videos? Is it across the spectrum age of people? You know what? I never believed it was all ages. At first, I thought people were just very, very kind. I didn't realize it was all ages until a young child came into my library and asked me if I had any, any tips for young content creators. So it is kids, teens, adults, um, um, the unhoused, the mentally ill. Everybody seems to be connecting with Library Joy. And that's not just because of me. That's because of wonderful library people um, across the nation. My mentor, librarian um, Elise, my children's librarian Joan. So many people across all libraries are doing such wonderful things for the library world. Michael, in one of your clips, you said you may not be a bookworm, but you can be. What do you say to kids and adults who say, I, I don't like to read? I always tell people that they're probably reading, they're probably a bookworm more than they realize. If they're watching Netflix with subtitles, they're readers. If they're reading blogs, um, if they're watching YouTube and reading the comments, they're reading. If they're sports fans and they're on um, on X, on different things, looking at um, um, athletes' interviews, they are readers. So I think anyone is capable you can love graphic novels, you can love comics, you can love manga. That's why I love to tell people, whatever your passion is, there's probably a book, there's probably a story about your love in life. And as kids growing up in this digital age, I think they're still drawn to holding a book. And you see that, I remember my kids loved going to the library and just having that book mm -hmm. there, right? Yes, there, there, there's something, as much as I love audiobooks, I love ebooks, there's just something special about, like you said, about holding that book in your hands, being able to either uh, mark it with a bookmark or the library's worst nightmare to dog ear the pages. There's just something <laughs> special about doing that for yourself, about being able to connect physically with that book that you can make it yours for that one moment you are delved into that library bookish world. Well, well Michael, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Very cool. Thanks. You can follow Michael on TikTok and Instagram. And uh, his joy is infectious. You're going to enjoy it. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.